Good morning, everyone. I um, wanted to walk you guys through some ways of taking notes on your research. Hopefully, you have found a, um, you have come up with some questions of things you'd like to research for your Civil War project. That's Jack's head. Do you want to bring your face up so you can say hi? No, we're snuggling. <laughs> Um, and then you have found some good sources. Uh, that's the direction we're moving in, and those are things you need to continue to locate as we go through this project. If you're having a hard time with any of that or deciding what you want to write about, definitely reach out to me so I can help you solidify. But as you're going through that, you should be starting to think about what you'd like to research. So um, what we're gonna, what I'm going to show you today is three ways you can take your notes. Um, and I've gone back and forth, like, do we take our notes before we organize or do we organize before we take our notes? And the reason um, why you may want, why a person might want to start to take notes before they organize is because they don't know all there is to know about their topic yet. So for example, my topic is I think I'm going to do Confederate spies of the Civil War. Perhaps I will do. Uh, um, female spies in general, because it turns out Harriet Tub Tubman was a spy during the Civil War. I did not know that. Um, obviously, she was a spy for the Union Army. Um, so I, I haven't quite decided yet. So I feel like when, when and, and by organize, I mean like first my you know my pieces of information, right? One piece of one paragraph or whatever it is we end up writing is going to be about this. One's going to be about this. This is the information I need. Um, I think you need more, you need to know more before you get to that point. And so while you're reading these sources, you might as well, um, you, it's not that just a we second. Need. Okay. Um, so what, when you're researching a topic where you don't know a lot about, you may not be able to tell me right now without doing some research, what your subtopics might be. So that's why I'm gonna have talk about the notes now and then um, let you start taking the notes and then you'll move into researching or organizing like while you're taking notes. So um, for today, I'm gonna to assign everyone the same article and they're all gonna take notes on it on the same article for a grade. Um, that obviously is not due till Sunday. I'm going to talk you through three ways, three ways to take notes. The first I'm really, I was so excited about, and then I got up slightly less excited about it. Um, I did ask your parents in the email to, if you could download this to their computer. It can also be, honey, get under the blanket. No, go over there and get under the blanket. It can also be an app on your phone, I just realized. so. Um, Hopefully this is something that most people are able to access because I think it's a really great resource. It's called Liner. Where is mine? Here it is. So um, you download it as a Google, as a Chrome extension, and it's also, like I said, available on, um, on your iPhone, it looks like, when, when you look at it. There's a free version and an upgrade. Um, I discovered some sort of disappointing things about the free version. That's why I'm less excited. Uh, obviously, don't pay for it. I don't want you to pay for it. I mean, it's a really, really nice resource. And you may decide when you're in high school and college to pay for this, but I think it's $9.99 a month, and you certainly don't need to spend $10 a month right now on it um, as you're becoming more, uh, you know, a more serious student in your older years, you may decide to, to pay for it. But for now, you don't have to. But it's called Liner. You will have to sign in, like set up an account through your email um, when you get it. And um, then there's like some tutorial stuff and, and all that stuff you have to get through, which I've already done. And I, I don't think I can go back and like show you how to do that because I've already done it once. Uh, but it's very standard stuff, very standard like signing up for something stuff and then this is what your um once you've signed in what your your page looks like uh so you'll see there is um there is a article in here it's see this is what i really like about it is it saves all your articles in one spot 
So you don't have to worry about like, where are they all? So I found this article, Secret Agents in Hoop Skirts, Women Spies of the Civil War. It's right here, but it saves it into my liner account, which is really nice. And then um, once you have it downloaded, then all you have to do when you're in an article um, is you would just have to highlight a part of the article, like this, and then a little highlighter will pop up next to your highlight. Now, you only get two colors because there's only two colors for the free version. All of these colors you have to pay for. They have those little lock symbols on them. So, you know, like I said, and we don't need to do that, but they're all there. Um, and it allows you to make a highlight. And then after you make the highlights, uh, you can select your color of, um, oh, well, I just selected it as yellow. Then you can also make a comment on that. Okay, so now here you see that where it says you've reached the limit. So this is where it's really disappointing and, and I didn't realize this. I watched the tutorial and I downloaded it and I played around with it and then right before I actually started to get into it, I realized this. So you can only leave three comments and you can only make seven highlights per document. So it is not ideal in that regard. So I'm gonna delete this comment because I didn't really mean to make that. Um, so I was like, oh no, we can't use it. And I was gonna say, we, you know, we can't use it. But then I did realize there's a bit of a silver lining there, which is you guys, not you guys, like you guys in specific, but you guys being 13 year old children, um, really love to highlight and often over highlight. So this is gonna keep you from over highlighting because you can only highlight seven things per source. So I think we should try it. I think maybe seven would be enough um, because look what else it does guys, it's so nice. It puts all your highlights over here in organizes them together in one spot. So I have in the months before the Civil War broke out, Greenhow, a fervent supporter of the Confederate cause, became a ringleader, became the ringleader of a growing network of Union spies. And then I put a little note there, how's, how Rose Greenhow got started. And then this next one, what she did and how she helped. And then this next one, information on Bell Boyd. Now, I actually just literally, while we we're recording this, discovered the you can only do three comments thing, which is definitely not ideal. But I, I do like the idea that it forces you guys to limit what you highlight. So, um, you know, obviously, I wish it were more unlimited and I wish we, like, I wish this was not, um, not the reality of what we had to deal with, but I think it can, I think it can work and it can give you a place to keep all your information that's really, really easy. So I think we should try it and let's see how it goes. It may be that it, it fails miserably, but at least for today you can practice for your homework. Um, so that's one option is to create a liner um, highlighted like article that you then share with me. That's a good point. So if I, I'm gonna just practice something here. I'm gonna copy this link that I've highlighted. This is a little tricky because, let's see here. Uh, just gonna see if it sends as, with the highlights so that you can send it to me with the highlights, you know what I mean? We'll check on that in a little bit. All right, so liner is one option. I do think it's a, it's a really great resource to, um, the, you know, to, to, to take notes that I'd like you to you know, continue to explore. Um, does this send with the highlights? It does. Now, this may be because it's, I'm, I'm still logged into my account on this computer. So we'll, we'll have to see. If you, if you guys start sending me articles and they don't have the highlights, we'll, we'll figure out the next set, next step. Um, but for now, let's just assume you're gonna send me the articles and they're gonna have the highlights. Okay, so that's Liner. Then there's also um, another link that I'm gonna include that is 
making note cards, which this is how I learned how to take notes when I was your age. And I don't know if any of your teachers have taught you this before, but it's actually like a pretty tried and true way of taking notes. And um, this is a walks you through doing it. It's very similar to Cornell notes. Um, it's just, I don't know, there's something about the note cards that I think can make it seem a little bit less overwhelming. But basically you put your subtopic here, you put what your note is, the page you got it from, and then you would number your sources so you know what source it is. You could also just write the name of the um, article up there. And then you just, you use the note cards so you end up with a stack of them for your research. Um, and then you can organize them. And so if you're, a, you're like a tactile person who likes to sort things, you can put all your notes with one subtopic together into into different piles when you start writing. I think it's a, it's a very nice way to organize information. So this is also an option is you can read an article, you can take notes on note cards like this, and you can take a picture of the note cards and send them to me. It's another way to complete this. If you wanted, this is especially helpful if you're just interested in kind of trying a new way of note taking. Um, there's lots of different ways and you will find your way as you go along. And if you're sort of interested in trying a new way, you might want to try this way. So I will include this link with um, how to do it. It's really basic. Um, so but you can look this over if that's something you're interested in. There's also the good old fashioned Cornell notes. Now I found this, it's a free Cornell note PDF. Found this on the internet, um, which I will include. Obviously you do not have to do this. You can do it with a piece of paper the way we do in school. But I thought it was kind of funny that there was a Cornell note PDF if you wanna, if you wanna use this. I know some of you can like even figure out how to type on top of a PDF or edit on top of them. I don't know how to do that, but you could add your information actually onto this on the internet on your computers, I, I think, if, if you know how to do that. Or you could print it out, or you could use a piece of paper and take pictures. So you have a lot of choices, liner being the sort of new and fancy way of doing it. Um, yeah, like I said, I think you can even do it on your phone. Oh, sorry. Um, so I would just play around with, with kind of all of those, or I, I guess I know I shouldn't say that. I wouldn't play around with all of them. I would pick one of them you want to try for today and try it. And then throughout the course of this project, you may choose to try around with, with play around with all of them because the, the thing is to find the thing that works for you. Um, and, and that's like the key thing. I think the best part about liner is that it keeps everything all in one spot. And that's really huge. And you can create folders. So you can have all those sources there, which is really, really huge. So maybe you use liner and you take some note cards or and you do some Cornell notes. That might be the system that you kind of figure out for yourself. So for, for today, I'm gonna include a link, a highlighted article. You will read that article and take notes on it, either using liner, making note cards, or taking Cornell notes. And then you'll send back to me the notes that you took, and then we'll have a different assignment for tomorrow. Okay, that's all. Take care, guys. Wait, what are, where am I going? Oh God, here I am. This is like my worst nightmare. There we go. Oh God. Oh, stop share. That's what I'm doing. How do I not know how to do this by now, guys? Okay, <laughs> there we go.